Good evening, everyone, and welcome to The Lounge. I'm your host, Elaine Kwan, and it's time for your weekly dose of Damo. This action-packed dramatic series mixes in the best of all worlds with stylized action sequences, suspense-driven plot lines, and forbidden love stories that remind us daily that this ain't your mama's drama. And boy, oh boy, have we got some fun stuff on the menu for you. Today, we're taking a trip out to High Velocity Paintball, Long Island's newest and largest paintball arena, for a little urban war game between myself and a very special guest. So drop the remote, grab some popcorn, and park it on the couch, because you're not going to want to miss what's in store for you today. The game of paintball is quickly becoming one of the world's fastest growing sports, with fields, tournaments, and pro shops popping up in over 25 different countries. Originally developed as a means for farmers to mark their trees and livestock, paintball has since become recognized as an extreme sport, complete with corporate sponsorship and celebrity pro players. I'm standing here with James Penn of High Velocity Paintball, and he's going to get us started by giving us a little background. So James, tell us what exactly is paintball? And can you really call it a sport? Yes, you can actually call paintball a sport. It's played um, all over the country and all over the world. They're actually played in arenas. It's turning into a real sport where uh, people are, are starting to get paid and to play and stuff like that. Right, tell me what this is. This is an <laughs> ego marker. Your hopper, where your paintball is going, would mount right into this uh, feed tube right here. Mm -hmm. And then the tank, the air tank, would go right onto the bottom here. And this is the on-off to turn your air on and off. And that's what makes the marker work. Does it hurt to get hit by one of these paintballs? It stings a little. That's why I would definitely recommend wearing chest protectors and stuff like that. But it will sting a little bit. Now we're going to go out and take a look at one of these so-called theme playing fields and get some paintballs flying. I'm here with Rob Arnold, owner and operator of High Velocity Paintball. And we're out here at one of the outdoor facilities, and he's going to show me what's going on behind me and show me how to shoot a gun. Well, now that I know how to shoot, I'm going to get a team together, and let's go play. Now in order to beef up the teams and get a real game of paintball going, I decide to call in for some reinforcements. I'm standing here with Emily Chang. She's the host of the other lounge. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to play a little game of paintball here. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. You're ready to lose because you're going oh, down. Oh, bring it you're on. Good. Well, it looks like we've got ourselves a game. So stick around. You are not going to want to miss the fun. Break it down. Give me over Can't shoot until you get loaded. High Velocity Paintball prides itself on a selection of themed outdoor playing fields complete with a host of army vehicles, a variety of terrains, and a built from scratch Old West ghost town. With a little luck, we can give them all a test run. After choosing our teams, it's time to suit up and get ready to play a little paintball.
after six games of continuous battle, Emily and I are at a dead heat. So in order to break the tie, Rob sets the stage for an old-fashioned duel. Goggles on, please. With our markers stationed on opposite ends of the playing field, Rob is going to count down from five, and then it's every show host for herself. I'm convinced that I've clinched a victory for the home team. But after further review, it turns out that I may have underestimated Emily's long-range marker skills. Oh well, maybe now we can relax and go get some margaritas. Hey everyone, we're all out of time and we're all tuckered out. <laughs> and Emily, you got me this time, girl. Yes, Wait I did. until next time. <laughs> next time, I think we should join forces. That sounds like then a good deal. All of their <laughs> so join us next week for more urban adventures here on the lounge. Happy trails!